Hey guys, this is Corey, GardenFood.org. I'm at my farm in Washburn, and uh, I just want to show you how to lay out a contour line. Um, I made a real simple tool to do it, so it's pretty easy. Um, and I'm using these 4x4s that I get for free from work, but you can use um, sticks or rocks or anything that's going to stay in place, really. So I started there and just kind of walked my way. And I do already know that the land is high at this end and it slopes down that way. So I already have an instinct of which way is up and which way is down. And I've already done a bunch of it as you can see. The tool is just three pieces of wood and I nailed it together with three nails and it has a level finder that's all taped up there. So I laid it on some ground that I knew was level and then taped the level to be level and uh, that's all there is. You can also use um, a tube with water in it if you have two people um, or you can use like an inclinometer. I have one of those but the needle kept wobbling back and forth the whole time so it was taking a long time. <laughs> So I switched to the simpler one. So all I'm doing is I set it at the first, or sorry, the last one I laid, and then I put it down, look at it, and oh, that got pretty lucky. But let's say I went too far downhill, it would tell me that that left side is higher. If I put it too far uphill, it would also tell me that the uphill side is higher with the bubble on the left, on the right side. So you just scoot it around until it's level and make sure you kind of give it a good push so it's not just sitting up on some grass. And now I've got it in the right spot. And I just go and grab these things. I could have wheeled them a little closer. I'm just laying it down against the tool, trying to step into it, secure it a little bit there, and then the grass underneath will die and it'll kind of make a place for itself. And these are more of a place marker as well because I can put more sticks and I think I'm going to dig. Um, I think I'm going to dig on the uphill side of the contour. Yeah. Dig along the uphill side and then put it on the downhill side so that kind of makes a mound for the water to spread along the contour. I'm just going like that. I <laughs> think I'll do one more on film. But this is pretty easy, guys making contours and it really slows the flow of water on your land so if, you, if you're concerned about something like drought um, this is something you might want to try I'll put one more and I've been I've been getting pretty lucky a lot of times this land is pretty flat Put that there how you make a contour line. Oh yeah, and just um, you know, make sure you start where you want to start. Um, it's good to use like trees on the downhill side of it because trees can hold a bank um, with roots and stuff. And like this is a path here, so it goes up to the gate up there. So I'm just going to take that one out, this one. And that's okay, because I still need to be able to walk 
through and wheel a wheelbarrow around. Maybe those two I could tilt them uphill so they make more of a pocket. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Almost to the fence over there. There's my neighbors, they have chickens and horses. Sit down the corner at the last one. A little bit low on that end. Turn. Oh, that end's really too high. Okay. So this is a really simple tool, but it really does let you know. You know if I was trying to go straight, the bubble says that that is the side that's too high because the bubble's going to that side. So I had to walk it over there, and that's about where it needs to be. Sorry for the shaky camera. It's, this is really a two-hand job. I guess next time I'll have my hat that can hold a camera in it. Right, thanks. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed.